If you want to search for information sources by a certain author, published in a certain journal, or a specific information source by title, you can just type in what you want in the search box and select the field in the pull-down menu next to the search box. Let's take a moment for a quick explanation of fields and databases. Not only does the database search the full text of articles, it also searches the metadata fields. If you searched for Thomas Friedman in the search box without using the pull-down menu, it's going to search the full text of the articles and all the metadata fields, so it will pull up articles by him as well as articles about him. But if you search for Thomas Friedman in the search box and use the pull-down menu to specify the author field, it will only find articles by him. You can search by field in either the regular search or the advanced search. The difference is that the event searched typically has multiple search boxes, so you can search different things in different fields. I'll do this demonstration using the advanced search. First, you need to get to it. To do that, there's a button under the regular basic search box. And even in databases with a totally different in interface, you'll usually find it under or beside the regular search box. In the advanced search screen, there are a whole bunch of features below the search box. We'll return to them in a later section. Right now, the important thing is the fact that there are three search boxes. You can also use the little plus button to add more. Each of the search boxes has its own Select a Field pull-down menu. Okay, let's have a look at what's in the Select a Field pull-down menu. Bear in mind that in other databases, they may have different words for the same thing. The first is Select a Field, the default option. It may also be called Keyword or Natural Language. This searches the full text of the information source and all the metadata fields which are listed below. TX, All Text, may be called Full Text or Keyword. In practice, it's the same as Select a Field except that it doesn't include the fields whose inputs are numbers. AU, author, may also be called creator. TI, title, almost always is title, but keep in mind that for articles, this is the article title, not the journal title. SU, subject terms, may be called descriptor. SO, journal title or source, may be called journal. AB, abstract, almost always is abstract. This is the brief summary description of the content. ISISSN. This is the unique identifying number assigned to every magazine and journal. Beware that if the journal changes its title, which happens a lot, it gets a whole new ISSN. IB for ISBN. This is the unique identifying number assigned to every book. Beware that every edition of a book has its own ISBN. Here's an example of an information source that you might want to find using field searching. You're assigned to read the article, The Two Faces of Power, by Bakrak and Baratz. First, you try to search the article title without selecting a field. Well, you got lucky in this search results list. You can't see it, but it's even on the first page. But it's kind of far down the page. Would that get any better if we search for the title in the title field? Well, yes, it does improve. Now we have only 20 search results, but why are there 20 instead of only one? A big part of it is that other authors responded to the first article and they put the title of that original article into their own title. That's actually pretty common. Well, come on, isn't there any way to go right to the exact article we want? Yes, we're going to search the two faces of power in TI and also search Bakrak and Baratz in AU. We're down to only three search results, and the one at the top of the list is the exact article we were looking for. In fact, the second article is the same one in Portuguese, and the third article is the same one in a different database. So this was really helpful for our search, because the combination of article title and article authors was unique. It brings up only one article, just in two different languages and two different databases. <laughs> So you can see that using the pull-down menus next to the search box to search in particular fields of the database can be a powerful tool for zeroing in on the particular information source that you need.
Don't forget that you can use any combination of the quotation marks, truncating asterisk, and, or, not, and parentheses inside any and all of those boxes. Here's a quick side note. Each of these search boxes acts like a giant set of parentheses for everything inside, and there are ands joining the boxes. You can change those to or or not if you need to. I also want to show you that you can do this in the basic search without using any pull-down menus. You just use those little prefix codes like TI and AU in front of your search terms.